Husqvarna Automower was designed to provide a perfect lawn with minimal effort from you. Even the installation process has been optimized and simplified so that you can install the automower in your own yard. First, unpack the automower box. Inside the top of the box, you'll find a ruler inserted in the cover of the box. Use the markings on the ruler to help you lay the boundary wire at the proper distance from various obstacles located throughout your lawn. You'll also find a charging station that sends a signal along the boundary and guide wires and charges the automower battery. On the rear of the tower, you'll find where you connect the boundary and guide wires to the charging station. A low voltage cable that connects the power supply with the charging station, a set of long ground screws that secure the charging station to the ground, a power supply that must be connected to an electrical outlet to power the charging station, replacement cutting blades, and your Husqvarna automower. When you buy your Husqvarna automower, you'll also receive the proper installation kit. The installation kit contains the boundary and guide wire, stakes to secure the wire to the ground, connectors for the charging station, and couplers to connect, repair, or extend the boundary and guide wires. You'll also need one pair of pliers, a rubber hammer, a wire cutter, and a Phillips head screwdriver to change the blades, and a spade. Insert the tower of the charging station into the base until you hear a click. It's important to select a prime spot for your charging station. The two main things to consider are making sure the charging station is close enough to an electrical outlet for the cord to reach, and that you place the charging station on a flat, shady spot in your lawn. Placing your charging station on flat ground will ensure that the auto mower can properly dock when it's time to charge. Now, we need to power up the charging station. Plug the male end of the low voltage wire into the female connector on the back of the charging station. Plug the female end of the low voltage wire into the male connector of the power supply unit. Then plug the power supply unit into an electrical outlet. After plugging in the charging station, the LED indicator on the charging station will begin blinking blue. Position your new automower onto the charging station and turn it on so it can fully charge while you install the rest of the system. Now you need to stake down the boundary wire. Although the same wire is used for both the boundary and guide wires, they serve entirely different purposes. The boundary wire is intended to keep your automower in the areas you want to mow, while the guide wire leads the automower home to the charging station and ensures all areas of your yard are mowed evenly and efficiently. Before you begin running wires, take a few minutes to plan precisely where the boundary and guide wires need to be placed. This will save you a lot of time over the course of the installation. When starting to install the boundary wire. Leave an extra two feet of boundary wire on the ground to keep it in place. Remove the included ruler located in the top of the automower box. Use the different markings on this ruler to determine the proper distance at which to place the boundary wire at various locations throughout your yard. Use the long measurement for hard objects such as the side of a house or a retaining wall, the medium measurement around flower beds or soft bushes, and the shortest mark around driveways or other paths level with the lawn. Use the staples provided to secure the boundary wire to the ground. It is recommended to cut the grass short before beginning this process. This helps ensure that the wire is placed as close to the ground as possible. Use these staples more frequently in areas of the yard where the terrain is hilly. If you have flower beds or trees that are not close to the edge of the yard, you'll need to create an island around them. Extend the boundary wire from its closest edge directly to the island, then surround the area with the wire. Be sure to circle back to the straight line you originally made with the boundary wire. Once you arrive back at the island's starting point, trace your way back to the edge of the yard, making sure the wires do not cross. Placing the wires close together will cancel out their signals. This allows your auto mower to mow over the wires as if they weren't there at all. Review your plan to see where you will tie in your guide wire. At this point, in the boundary wire, leave four extra inches of wire to be used later. Depending on the layout of your yard, you may need the auto mower to drive through narrow passages that separate sections of your lawn. To operate, the auto mower needs a minimum distance of six feet between boundary wires. If the passage is smaller than six feet, install a guide wire through the passage to help the auto mower navigate. With a guide wire, the minimum distance between boundary wires is two feet. As with the boundary wire, begin by leaving a two foot excess section of guide wire for later use. 
From there, run the guide wire under the base of the charging station. On the 115H model automower, be sure to clip the guide wire into the provided channels on the underside of the charging station. Now place the guide wire throughout the yard according to your plan, ending at the spot in your boundary wire where you left the excess 4 inches of wire. Your plan should place the guide wire where the auto mower never needs to travel far to find it. Cut the boundary wire in the middle of the 4 inch excess, then cut the guide wire to meet at the same point. Insert all three wires into the provided coupler, then use pliers to secure the wires inside the coupler, which is filled with grease to ensure a weatherproof connection. Then dig a small hole to bury the connector a bit to ensure that it won't come into contact with the auto mower's blades. Route all of the wires through the bottom of the charging station up to where the male connectors are located. Determine how much of the excess wire you need, then remove the rest. Use pliers to clamp the supplied purple connectors to the ends of all three wires. Using the supplied stickers, label each boundary wire and the guide wire for future reference. Connect the left and right boundary wires to their respective connectors. Then complete the connection by plugging in the guide wire. At this point, you should see a solid green light on your charging station. If the light is still blinking blue, you need to find the break or disconnection. Next, use the ground screws provided to secure the charging station to the ground. Finally, download and use the Auto Mower Connect app on your smartphone to complete the setup of your auto mower. Please note that the connection process may take a while to complete. Once you begin the startup and calibration procedure, do not stop. Complete the connection process by programming additional settings. Depending on the model of auto mower you own, you may need to program these settings either on the auto mower menu panel or in the auto mower connect app. Now you're ready to enjoy your perfectly cut lawn with your Husqvarna auto mower.